YouTube, Debbie Fan 2 back here with a video, and today I'm going to be doing my WWE TLC, aka Tables, Lives, and Chairs pay per view predictions. As of the day of recording, it is Monday, December 14th, 2020, and you're probably going to be seeing this video by December 15th, 2020, on a Tuesday, basically after Monday Night Raw. The reason why I'm making this video December 14th instead of December 15th, because I have this video listed down as December 15th. But the reason why I'm making this video December 14th is because I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen on Monday Night Raw. Raw. Raw has been really, really boring as of right now. And I'm pretty sure nothing has happened on Raw. I'm watching it, but I'm pretty sure nothing is going to happen and nothing's going to be announced. But let's stop talking and let's get into the WWE TLC. Let me zoom in. I can't, oh, that right there. TLC, Tables and Ladders, and Tables, Ladders, and Chairs uh, predictions. So, yeah. Last pay-per-view of 2020. All right, so the first match on the WWE TLC 2020 pay-per-view card is the current Raw Women's Champion, Asuka, teaming up with Lana, going up against the current WWE Women's Tag Team Champions in um, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. So, yeah. That's this is the match I don't care about at all. Um, I'm gonna watch this match. I can do the review for TLC coming December twentieth. But this match, I couldn't care less about this match. Honestly, I don't like this storyline. I knew this was gonna lead into a match at TLC, but I thought it was gonna be a tables match between Lana and Nia Jax. Like I was rumored in like September, but it's gonna be a tag team match. And knowing WWE, probably Oscar and Lana are gonna win. But um, since Asuka is the current Raw Women's Champion, and I wouldn't like seeing her with the Women's Tag Team Champions Championship titles and the Raw Women's Championship, because how is she going to defend both titles? I would like to see um, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler win this match. So yeah, but like I said, knowing WWE, they're probably going to give it to Asuka and Lana. But um, like how I would want to see it is um, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler retaining. So Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler retaining their WWE Women's Tag Team Championships at TLC 2020. Alright, so the next match on the WWE TLC 2020 card is going to be the match between the current WWE Raw Tag Team Champions, The New Day, and Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston going up against The Hurt Business, basically Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. So in this match, I really, really want The Hurt Business to win the Raw Tag Team Champions. But I feel like WWE are going to keep the Raw Tag Titles on the New Day. But since this is my predictions, I am predicting the Hurt Business to dethrone the New Day and beat the New Day. And the Hurt Business are going to become the new WWE Raw Tag Team Champions. The next match on the WWE TLC 2020 card is the match between the current WWE SmackDown Women's Champion and Sasha Banks going up against the challenger Carmella and this match I don't really care about if you were to ask me what my thoughts for this match were like four days ago I would have said I don't care about this match and I'm not looking forward to this match But after Friday Night Smackdown, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this match But at the same time, I'm not I don't really care about um, Carmella that much But Sasha Banks, she's pretty good So my prediction for this match is gonna be Sasha Banks obviously um, the retaining her Smackdown match championship so yeah, Sasha Banks is going to beat Carmella. Obviously, she just went out on a cell in October, so she's obviously going to win. So Sasha Banks to beat Carmella to retain her SmackDown Women's Championship. The next match on the WWE TLC 2020 card is going to be the match between the Viper, Randy Orton, going up against the Fiend, Bray Wyatt. So I could have sworn this match was a TLC match. But actually, I checked, and it wasn't a TLC match. If it is a TLC match, I'll put it in the comments below. But um, I just checked, and I think it's not a TLC match. But like I said, I could have sworn it was, but it's not. So my prediction to win this match, obviously, The Fiend is going to beat Randy Orton. So The Fiend is going to dethrone and beat Randy Orton. So obviously, um, The Fiend is going to end off 2020. By beating Randy Orton at, at, at TLC, a.k.a. the last pay-per-view of 2020. So The Fiend will beat Randy. Alright, so the next match is the WWE Championship match. In a TLC match, tables, ladders, and chairs match. Between current WWE Champion Drew McIntyre going up against the challenger AJ Styles. Like I said, in a TLC match for the WWE Championship, of course. 
So in this match, I am pretty sure that Drew McIntyre is going to win the match. Obviously, Drew McIntyre is going to beat AJ Styles in this TLC match. But always at the same time, AJ Styles could win. But I just don't see AJ Styles winning the WWE Championship at TLC. So Drew McIntyre will um, retain his WWE Championship. Also, he literally just won the title last month. I think it's almost to the date. November 16th is when he won the title. So he obviously he can't have a one-month reign. But also at the same time, in could come Mr. Money in the Bank, The Miz, and his tag team partner, John Morrison. See if he'll stand up. Probably not. He actually did somehow, but you can't see his face really. But he might cash in, but he's probably not going to cash in. But like I said, my prediction to win this TLC match between AJ Styles and Drew McIntyre is Drew McIntyre to retain his WWE Championship because his title reign's only been like a month. So Drew McIntyre to defeat AJ Styles. All right, so the next match on the card is going to be probably the main event of TLC 2020. If it's not, stuff you're going to be McIntyre versus AJ Styles. But it is the TLC match for the Universal Championship. It is going to be between the current Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. I'm pretty sure he's going to be with Jey Uso, but probably not. And he's defending the Universal Championship versus Kevin Owens in, these, in this TLC match slash Universal Championship match. So, yeah. Obviously, we all know that Roman Reigns is going to beat Kevin Owens, but this match is definitely going to be a good match. These two had a match at the Royal Rumble in 2017, but I'm still pretty sure this match is going to be a good match since the Royal Rumble 2017 match was really good. So I'm guessing that this match is going to be really good. But obviously, we all know Roman Reigns is going to retain the Universal Championship. I'm pretty sure with the help of Jey Uso. So this is how I would do it if I were WWE. I would have Jey Uso run down when Roman Reigns needs help. And then uh, Kev Kevin Owens hits Jey Uso with a stunner while he's trying to attack Kevin Owens. And that just gives Roman Reigns the opportunity to hit um, Kevin Owens with a spear and then one, two, three. Or if this is not like the match, you have to climb up the ladder. I know in the McIntyre vs. AJ Styles match, you have to climb up the ladder. I'm not sure if that's how you do it with this match. But I'm guessing this match, you don't win by actually climbing up the ladder. I'm pretty sure you just win by pinfall or submission. So, Roman Reigns to defeat um, Kevin Owens. But that is it for the video. Please subscribe and hopefully see you next one. Peace.